Hey, uh, this shit. Uh, I'm gonna release this uh, even after. If you're a fan of DeFi, you probably have heard that Yuso has made a mod uh, called MMFX Plus. I've been recently, as of recording, downgrading a few charts. And I actually learned quite a few things that I didn't never notice. So I came up with this idea for this video. This video is not specifically uh, focused a bit more on uh, sp uh, from hard to extreme. I'm gonna go from easy this time to normal, from normal to hard, from hard to extreme, and I'm gonna uh, yeah, and he call it lean. Learn you a few tips and tricks about like charting in general. Like how do we uh, how is charting done? What is like a uh, difference between an easy and a hard and an how do you call it? Easy in a normal chart. What makes it harder or not so time? Uh, um, first of all, a few notes. I'm gonna turn in. I'm gonna throw in some terms, and if you don't know this, well, get me. But uh, I'm gonna go over charting rules. I also gonna learn you uh, a, a chance time or challenge time is, is depending how you pronounce it, and what is different with the rest of the chart. Uh, furthermore, I'm going to take you on tour through uh, easy to normal, normal to hard, hard to extreme, and uh, maybe hard to x, 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 also from like uh, x to xx. From easy to normal, we're going to start with sweet devil. From normal to hard, I have no clue yet. But from hard to x, I'm going to show you two particular charts and why I think you uh, should see it. I'm also going to go over each charting rule as I play along, as I show you along the tour. From easy to normal, from normal to hard, etc. And as last, uh, with XX, uh, if you go on from like extreme to extreme, I'm gonna show you Pierre, in particular Piero uh, Space Shipper. I think you know why. And what's the difference between X and XX? Also, uh, when we go into XX, I'm just gonna talk about a new term, which I'm gonna uh, explain later on. But also with that term, I'm gonna explain why some charts are like. Uh, Created in a way and it feels like really easy to do on a controller and many people be like if you do it like on a controller It feels like a 9.5, but there's some reason why the chart and I'm gonna explain that in the video So that was the intro and with that you should see a little fade in fade out or whatever happens And then all I'm gonna do is So this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna cut it over into four videos to make it easier for me uh, we're gonna go to Sweet Devil. First of all, I want to know you that Easy uh, is mostly contained for newer players. So charting rules for Easy particular, what I found out is that uh, yeah, it's not really, but primarily in Easy you're only using the circle button, but now and then the X. I'm gonna show uh, as we play on. There are no multi or holds. And basically, in chance time, the rules of normal apply. When chance time comes, uh, I will pause it and let's see. And also, I'll show you challenge time or chance time, however you want to call it. It's usually at near the end of a song on like easy and normal. Uh, we're going to go into that in a minute. Like, the reason why it's so hard to get like on easy to get 101 or like 100% is because there are no holes, even not in chance time. So, as you can see, it's like really, yeah, for, for an experienced player as me, it's really easy to do. And you see primarily the, uh, that the game is using the circle. Like simple patterns. That doesn't take a lot to learn or read. Believe me, if I show you this on X, you'll be crying now if you're an easy player. <laughs> or even on hard, I think, but... Uh. You see, like uh, there are no triangles and squares because those are not allowed by charting rules on uh, easy. They do appear on uh, normal, but on, I'm gonna explain that a bit later. But on normal, there are different rule sets, of course, to make the game a bit harder and harder and harder. Also, a clearest percentage for each difficult difference. I know from the top of my head that it is uh, that extreme has a clear difficulty of 50, uh, 70, with 85 being great and 95 being excellent. 
tame goes for extra extra extreme. For heart, the clear difficulty is 60%. With great being 80 or 70. I think it's 80 from the top of my head. And excellent being 90%. Uh, normal is out of the top of my head, I think 50. Or 40. Okay, channel time. Hold on. Uh, normal is 50 or 40 from the top of my head, I think 50. I know that 65 is a great and 75 is an excellent. And as you can see, uh, on easy, the clear difficulty is 30%. And I don't know what the top is like excellent or great percentages are. But uh, basically, you're playing like easy or normal. And this occurs. What is this? This is called, as you see, challenge time or chance time. On challenge time or chance time, the rules from the difficulty above uh, the one you're currently playing will apply. Just in this case, for easy, it is like the rules from normal gonna apply in ch channels or chance time. On normal, it's gonna be hard rule set, and that's it. Because on hard, there is no rule uh, challenge ch uh, challenge time, and or ex extra extreme and extreme also not. Uh, well, what are the rules for normal with the sneak peek? I'm gonna repeat them in the normal section also, so if you want to see that, don't bother to be remembering. Now, uh, you basically have still no holds or multis. Because we're still playing on easy and we're now in the normal hold set. There are no holds or multis, even if this, like, if you would, uh, that's the thing you have to say. If you would go into challenge time, no rules will apply from the challenge time difficulty above. So, so if I'm easy, playing easy and I go into challenge time of uh, normal, no rule set will apply that applies in the challenge time for normal because that is our hard rule set to make it like easier for players to remember in charge. So now you are mostly using the circle and the X, but sometimes the triangle and the square. Most of the patterns are simplified patterns usually from the hard chart. That's what also a lot of uh, charters do and this game does. They keep it like uh, fairly recognizable. So if you come from, like easy to normal, you'll be like, hey, I know this pattern. You're gonna see it in a minute also after this chart is done. And from normal to hard, you'll be like, oh, hey, I know this. So it gives us a, a sense of fami familiarity, if I pronounce it correctly. So that you know on which place to look and which place to keep up. Of course, the difficulty is gonna end up, they're gonna need different rules, but keep you one place happy. Uh, and that is actually what happens on challenge time. This is the only thing here that is different from like your normal easy chart. There will still be no multis or holds. I will explain that on normal what they are. Uh, there will not be no spams. So you don't have to be like shake the controller like you see in let's say the pin games. <laughs> and yeah, um, you're gonna see triangle and square a lot more now, or if really a bit more. And that is basically challenge time for easy. Let me show you play further on. Also, you can see them using Mega Mix Plus with mods. So, yeah. Also, yeah, don't be wor uh, don't be worried to miss press because uh, you don't lose life in challenge time. So it becomes harder, but you don't lose any life. And as you can see, also sliders can appear. In challenge time. Oh yeah, I don't know. Of course, you probably know if you play Diva, but the Rainbow Note is like a success note, and it can alter uh, alternate your uh, your ending or the PV. If you want a good example, unless it's why I did did uh, Sakura no Ame. And Sakura no Ame had like a different ending screen. If you didn't hit the Rainbow Note, I never noticed that. So, you want to see that? And after challenge time, the rules of the normal uh, difficulty will apply that you're playing. So if challenge time ends, ends uh, then easy rule sets will apply again. So that you know. I will also later, uh, if you're interested, I don't have any comfy. Uh, I'm later gonna also go into comfy studio and talk a bit more about like charting things. I will show you how like a normal chart looks in comparison to the heart. But it's not just playing easy, yeah. You can look if you're interested, it will be in the end of the video if I'm going for like extreme, extra extreme. But this is a bit how an easy chart looks. 
How does the normal version of you look then? I already ask you. Why don't we look? Why don't we look? Like I'm not going to show you how a normal chart will looks. And after that, I will pick a normal song into an art song and think about copyright. But this is the same song, same same layout, same BPM. But now you're playing on the normal difficulty. How would that look? This is purely also uh, educational, so that like if you're an easy player, you can see what what you can expect. Oh yeah, I should explain the normal rules. In this case, uh, I forgot to do, but I will do it also from the normal art section once more. I'm gonna repeat myself a lot, but uh, in normal, there are no holds or multis unless in the challenge time. The same goes for spams. Spams are limited to three to five notes at max. And what are spams? Well, if you remember episode at least three, four, two, I have covered an episode on triplets, doublets, those kinds of uh, those kinds of things. That's are we consider spams. But usually spams go longer on the like five, six, seven, eight, nine notes. So you can see triplets at max in heart. Those will be only in challenge time. So no multis, no holds, no trip spams until challenge time at max. And normal, as you see, you're mostly already using the X button and the circle button. And if you're uh, in case on switch, that will be the B button and the A button. And if you're playing on easy, that will be only the E button and sometimes the B. Now, a normal, in some cases, you will see the square and the triangle button. And if you're playing on the switch, that will be the X and the I button. Also, most of the patterns are indeed, once again, hard chart versions, but then downgraded mostly. And on challenge time, hard rules will apply. But once, what are those? Well, we're gonna see them on the next. Just expect me to repeat myself a lot and uh, pause a lot. So. But like, uh, the reason I want to make this primarily is like, I've been downgrading stuff from like X, extreme to hard and from extreme to normal. And probably also too easy at this point, when this goes live. And I was like, I learned stuff that was like, you never notice it. And why do I do think it's uh, necessary? I know that like, uh, I heard from Hiso at this point and his team before I joined or when I joined that a lot of people who play his mods are primarily playing on normal. Like I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit of an experienced player, I primarily play on extreme and I've been recently uh, kinding hard. So, and I know that it takes time and dedication and willing to learn. Uh, to become better. And sometimes that's scary, I know. But that's why the series is here for. To learn you. And hope that you're gonna be like, oh, I can do this. As you can see, I'm normal, mostly uh, just two max. And as you can see, uh, chance time starts around the same time, usually the end of the chart, as I said. Well, on this time now, hard rules apply, and only the hard rules. What are hard rules? Uh, occasionally, horizontal build is only. And what do we mean with horizontal? Well, as you see, the leg config button in that shape or in that line would be multi only. And this is a part that I've been like, huh? But I've been looking through a lot of hard charts <laughs> and I never saw one vertical, uh, vertical multi. What's a vertical multi? I'm gonna explain later on as I said in the XX, XX things to look at and what's supposed to be not for hard, what's for easy, what's playing once again. So. I'm gonna see that. Make sure to stay, scroll down to the end of the video. Uh, as I said earlier, you will now have spams mostly triplets or doublets. Sometimes you have like a four or five spam. It's rare, but most patterns are also like simplified from the extreme chart so that you know, not the XX. And from here on onward, if you're gonna play hard after this, there's no challenge time in hard, as I said earlier. So I would like a challenge time look. And I missed one, because I was like explaining stuff. Ah. As you can see, there's a lot more triangle and square. 
And what's noticeable here is the holes. As you can see. Holes are mostly uh, two, two max. And what do I mean with two max? That you hold like one at max and two sometimes if it maxes out. So. And as I said, after ch after channel time ends, uh, the rules of normal will apply again. Uh, and one miss. But those holds make it easier to get over 100% normal. And holds is a thing that uh, I've done also in an earlier lesson. I primarily focused this series on like from hard to extreme. So if you're like still playing normal, don't be bothered to... Uh, you can, if you want to, you can try to look at it and see what's up ahead. Well, I've done way more, yeah, way more stuff from hard to extreme mostly. But that's that. So this is primarily all I wanted to discover on uh, from easy to normal. If I look back at my script, uh, I think I done everything. Yeah, rules apply for the difficulty above. So recap, easy. Only use the circle sim uh, symbols. So circle on the PlayStation icons, right on the arrow icons, and A on the Switch. With occasionally the X on the PlayStation, down on the arrow icons, and B on the Switch icons. There are no holds or multis. There is a chance time usually at the end of the chart for easy. Those chance time will follow the rules from normal and don't follow any rules from any higher difficulties. So they can't have like a normal challenge time that goes into a hard challenge time, you know. And the normal rules that will apply in the easy challenge time are no holds or multis. And, and now you're real, uh, primarily going to use circle X, circle and X on PlayStation right and down arrow icons and A and B on um, uh, switch icons but sometimes up uh, triangle and square on PlayStation icons <laughs> up and left on arrow icons and X and I switch icons and they're mostly patterns that are used from the heart chart and so it goes from normals uh, and that's easy basically, and if the challenge time is over, easy rule set will apply again. Uh, uh, furthermore, for normal, as you saw, the normal gets a bit harder. You can see a little bit more notes. Usually not that long of a string to make it more easy and comfortable for you. On normal, uh, there are no holes or multis unless you're playing challenge time. As I said, and challenge time, the rules for hard to apply, we'll get to that later. In normal, as I said earlier, you now be using mostly X and circle, right on left or arrow icons, or A and B on switch icons. With occasional being the triangle square, up left on arrow icons, or X, I switch icons. Most of the patterns are simplified from the heart. And in challenge time, on normal, the, uh, the rule set of heart will apply. And what is that? Uh, as I said, horizontal multis only. No vertical. If you see a vertical multi, let me know in the comment down below. <laughs> because I couldn't find one, so I was like, huh? That's like a thing I was amazed about. Uh, spams are usually saved to five, uh, till three max on triplet. If you want to see a lesson about triplets, uh, there should be lesson two or three at the top of my head. So if you want to learn about that. Also, doublets, triplets are mostly the things that are, uh, are used. What is a doublet? Doublet is usually two notes uh, close together, and triplet is three notes close together. That's why I named doublet and triplet. Uh, and sometimes you see more spans, but that is a rare occasion. Also, most of the patterns uh, are simplified from the extreme chart, not the XX chart. And in hard, uh, if you're going to play hard from normal, but slate also repeated, there's no challenge there. So that is mostly uh, what you will encounter in the challenge time from normal are holds, horizontal notes only, and sometimes spam notes in occasional triplets and doublets. And we will see more often the triangle square, upper arrow, left arrow, or the XI uh, notes. And with that, 
Uh, easy to normal is done. I'm going to look for a chart that I think fits well from normal to hard. I will be back. Yeah, for you, you will see fade in and fade out. And I will be back in a sec. If you skip the whole uh, easy to normal part, that can be. Uh, welcome to this section is primarily going to be on about normal to hard. And I think I have like an interesting chart to show you how it goes. Uh, to say if you if you like if you wanted to like see if this is from easy to normal, I should go on a bit back in the video. There should be easy to normal on Sweet Devil. I'm completely clear gonna choose uh, normal to hard on Romeo and Cinderella. Why? I think uh, to show a bit more the spam the rule set. Uh, first of all, if you haven't watched the easy to normal part, I'm gonna explain to you uh, what the normal rule set is before we start the chart. And on change time, I will explain what the hard rule set is that's being used there. So that you can think. Also, if you usually uh, want to know what change time is, usually uh, at the end of the chart, that's where mostly of the time is. Sometimes a bit of different. And if you're interested in uh, uh, a bit of chart knowledge and how grading works, make sure to tune to the end of the video. I will, when I go to X and XX, I will be using Comfy Studio to show a bit more patterns and things you can use and learn. So uh, if you're interested in that, there should be the last chapter on this. Oh, we'll but first of all, normal chart rules. Normal chart rules are no holds or multi still in comparison to easy and hard. What are no holds or multis? Well, a hold is basically if you like, for example, hold the left button uh, or the circle button or right on arrow icons or A on the switch and you'll press other buttons. For example, if I would keep this button, I will do press like this or th this. Like, for example, I hold the circle and press the triangle for like a pattern. That's considered a whole button. Uh, I think I've done things about hold switches and should turn in the lessons. Like, also, if you want to learn more about Diva, I have a lesson series where uh, this originated from. Those lesson series is primarily focused from hard to extreme. I'm doing this because I'm recently starting working for a resource mod called MMF, uh, MFX+. I'm uploading after uh, V2 has been released. For here's a small or this video uh, to prevent any leaks or occasional data things shown out which is not possible. So that's why. And in that in that chart, I've been mostly downgrading chart from extreme to hard, from hard to normal, not normal to easy. And I've learned quite some stuff which interested me and was like, this actually going to catch some stuff I can teach to people and they should pay any attention to and they can learn. So that's why. Uh, in normal, to get back to charting ruling. Normal, you're primarily using the X and the circle as icons. And if you're using difference for arrows, that will be the right and the left. And for switch icons, that will be A, B. However, occasionally or rarely, you will see either the triangle square up or left on the arrow icons or the X and I on switch icons. Why? Uh, to tra train you a bit for like harder, extreme and X extreme. That's also the reason I make you di this video too. Uh, I know that a lot of people from his small to play normal, or that's what he told me. So maybe they will find this video and be like, hey, he's like, she's trying to help us out. We have like an interesting lesson series that I can follow. If you're one of those people who primarily play normal or easy, I highly recommend at least uh, to watch my other lessons. They can be a bit scary, I know, but they will primarily uh, target something if you want to get better. And I primarily first recommend watching this to be done. And then afterwards going on with the rest of the lesson series. But as I said, the lesson series primarily target from hard to extreme. And uh, most of the patterns in normal charts are simplified from hard. And in case normal has a challenge time, just like easy. As I said, those are usually at the end of the chart. What are the rule sets for uh, challenge time? Those are rules from the hard charts. And what are those? Well, I'm going to explain when the challenge time appears. I'm going to show you first the chart. Because I primarily think, uh, yeah, I primarily think if you see it, better than like to talk about it. So, as you can see, I'm using a sucky module. <laughs> I saw this on Game Banner and I was like, I need to use it. How good it looks. You can see mostly extra circle. It's some more difficult patterns than easy. Not that difficult, but 
I'm more <laughs> I'm more better than player. If you want to also something that I didn't tell at uh, easy, most of the charts are vo uh, synced after the vocals most. They can be off sync, but I. I wanted to uh, to remember the chorus. Why? Because the chorus at the end of the heart chart is gonna look different than uh, mostly of this. Oh no, the squares! Oh no! I'm just kidding. Something that I should tell. Is that a clearance percentage for extra extreme and extreme are 70% with a great being 85 and an excellent being 95. For hard it is 60% on the clear and I, from the top of my head 80 on the great and 90 on the perfect. On normal you can see it is 50%. It's like a excellent being 75 I think. Excellent being 75 and great being 65. And for easy, it was like 40 or 30 percent, but like excellent, I think, at 60 and great at 50. You're on challenge time. Uh, don't panic. Challenge time, you can't lose life. So if you miss press a lot, don't worry, your life won't go down, so you won't fail the chart. However, challenge time will increase the difficulty to hard uh, at the back end. And what can you expect in challenge time here? You can expect now to see horizontal multis. And what are multis? Those are basically two nodes connected to each other. So for example, square, triangle, square, x, x, circle. They always, be, always will be horizontal. So across your screen, for example, how the resume button, the try button, and this, that like uh, go to the left or right, those sizes of the screen. Uh, you can, as I said earlier, you can expect uh, some triplets or doublets. What are triplets and doublets? Basically, two nodes stacked to each other is a doublet. Three nodes stacked to each other is a triplet. That's why the name triplet and doublet. Those you will see more common at challenge time at heart. And uh, sometimes, rare or case, you will see a spam of four or five nodes. It should be maxed at five. Should be. And if you want to learn more about triplets, I have, like I said earlier, I've done it early in the lesson, but this difference between heart X and extra X theme uh, from the top of my head. And most of the patterns here are simplified from the extreme chart. Mostly. And not the XX. And those are the rules that you can uh, expect. So, how are we going to do challenge time? Uh, I want you to remember this part in particular. The multi note, hold. Max at 2. A hold can extend the challenge time, but are usually limited to max 2. What do I mean with max 2? What do I mean with max 2? Well, max 2, you have to see it like, uh, you press two notes down, for example, like as I show on the controller below, and then you can press any other buttons. If I hold the right button down, and I'm pressing like triangle, triangle, square, square, then it's considered one note. And you can do two or multiple notes, that they can occur, but then they usually max out. And as I said, you I want you to remember this chart at the time, because we're now going to the heart chart of Romeo and Cinderella. And as I said earlier, there will be now uh, vertical multis only. Uh, no, ver no. no, not vertical, horizontal multis only. And I'm not kidding, uh, as I said earlier also in the easy thing, I'm not kidding. I looked over an, a, a big amount of charts 
you, you get a big amount of charge and couldn't find a single uh, vertical multi. And I was like, that's a theme that I was like, with the, and he's just he was like, huh? No vertical multis? You're kidding? Our players should know that. He was like looking over our official charge. I'm like, I maybe looked over 40, 50 charts and couldn't find it. I was like, okay, you win. I will do no vertical multis. As I said earlier, there will be spams, uh, usually max at three. So, as I said, a triplet or doublet. And they, on rare occasions, you'll see a spam of four at max five. They should not go further than five. If they do, I apologize, but that's a rare occasion then. Uh, most of the banners are simplified from extreme charts. And there is no challenge time for heart. Reminder, there is no challenge time for heart. Usually hard extreme and the extra extreme have like a stupid part that's usually at the end of the chart or in the middle. This is ex uh, this is more for extreme and extra extreme. Hard is like less less, but hard usually does at the end takes a part of the extreme chart at the beginning and doesn't call it challenge time to like teach you. So where easy and normal make it, make it like the difficulty is still challenge time, hard doesn't, but on the background, it takes a bit of the extreme chart and learning how it does, how that goes. Uh, so, let's play hard and see the difference. As I said earlier, if you remember the challenge time from like normal, you're gonna see a simplified or the same pattern a lot more now. And as you can see, now a lot of more uh, switching. That's also a thing in normal. You won't be a lot, uh, you won't alternate that much. But the alternating also occurs for hard. But like alternating, switching, or pressing different notes. Looks better than the mic mix, which you know that's here. As you can see, this chart style is already like more longer notes. As you saw in the challenge time from normal. And it's a lot of more button switching, you see a lot of more holds. Holds should, as I said earlier, be max to 1, unless they max. Or max to 2, unless they max. Patterns, as you saw in like the normal chance sign, but then with like less switching. Here, vertical mode only. Ah, uh, horizontal. My bad. I guess even approach sixty percent and it's a clear. So I want to warn you now, this is the same part as where challenge time on normal started. Now you will get to see a bit of like how the extreme chart begins. And what do I mean with extreme? Uh, hard does is less than extreme and extra extreme, but hard secretly in my opinion is also in chance time, where it goes like to the extreme chart, which like barely doesn't hold any rules, but try, tries to teach you, as I said, with normal ease, what easy does trying to teach you normal, with normal trying to teach you hard. Art tries to teach you extreme. Only in uh, my opinion, that's what I share with like a lot of uh, pro diva players. Art doesn't really teach you anything regarding of extreme. That's why I made a uh, this playlist of lessons also to teach you more what I did wrong and what should I done different and what my opinion you can learn better than Segalas because art is not really something you can learn from extreme. But try to see, uh, keep an eye now on the chart. You see triplets? 
the plots are scary, yo. Uh, if you want to play Mega Mix uh, FX, I will leave a link also down in the description below to the channel of the mod, of his official mod channel. Uh, basically, as you saw those triplets, those are actually the beginning of the extreme chart. And why do I say this? Because extreme, uh, the only difference now that you learn with this ending of this chart and extreme, usually the end part of extreme is the stupid part, the hard part, or the middle part. And extreme starts more like this, but you have a lot more note switching. So you can have like two notes triangle, three notes square, two notes uh, circle. So will be switching a lot, lot more. That's the only thing which is different here. You're gonna play it, and of course the stupid part. But that is it from the hard part, from normal to hard. I'm gonna fade in and fade out again. And then we're gonna go from hard to extreme. This is gonna be a long video, so bear with me. The charting rules that learn you a trick or two. Uh, welcome to the hard to extreme version of this section. Uh, if you haven't watched from easy to normal or from normal to hard, I'm gonna explain to you first the rules out of hard. It's actually also the first time that I think about uh, that I wrote a script for this video. Uh, hard. Uh, if you're playing a lot of hard, which I've done recently because I've tried to grind on my streams. I've tried to get on my streams uh, all the hard perfects in Future Tone. So, but basically, one thing I never noticed, which apparently is from like the hard chart, if you find something else, you can contact me and we are happy to see it. But uh, I bear this video is primarily made since I started work for users mode called MMF X Plus. I've been downgrading charts from like extreme to hard to hard to eat normal to hard to easy there a few. And I basically learned quite some rules that I think. I'm gonna put this out, this video, this is a lesson for all difficulties. Uh, this lesson series that is a big playlist that's usually aimed at hard to extreme. So if you're on hard play and want to learn extreme, I highly recommend also checking the earlier uh, videos in this series. I also highly recommend, uh, yeah, those are the things, I highly recommend the earlier. There are, in my opinion, things you should learn to play extreme. And also, in my opinion, things I've done as trend as girls should have done earlier or different from when I played Project Diva. Because one thing is clear, uh, playing hard doesn't teach you extreme. You can hate it when you're gonna like it, but horizontal multis are the only things that are appear in hard and not vertical. So, if you've ever seen a vertical multi in extreme, you'll be like, oh, panic, 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 panic. No. Uh, so, if you find a vertical multi in a hard chart, Please leave it in the comment down below with the time step and the song, and I will highly, highly appreciate a look at it. I've been looking at the 45 to chart, you couldn't find anyone. Uh, also, this is being a longer video, if you watch the, uh, uh, the whole video, be my guest. It should be labeled to chapters. Also, uh, if you're interested in more chart knowledge and uh, why the some charts are start different than others, and how does Sega does that, make sure to stick to the end. I will be going when I go to extreme, extra extreme. I will go into like Comfy Studio and uh, talk a bit more about arcade layout, 4 keys, 8 keys, if you're interested in that. Also, uh, usually the stupid thing for extreme is extra extreme is at the middle of the end. Song. Hard, however, also is like in hidden chance time. It does usually at the end uh, learn takes a bit of the extreme chart and learn throws this at you as normal and easy to do with challenge time to learn you like normal and hard. Extreme do uh, hard does it also to learn you extreme extreme patterns but they don't learn you uh they don't like make it easy and like be like oh let's make it let's make it chance time no they want to make you suffer but as i said there are horizontal multis only in heart you have holds and spams they're usually uh, uh the spams are usually max at triplets or doublets doublets and triplets are three notes uh doublets are two notes uh uh, to each other, really close to each other. And triples, triplets, are usually three notes close to each other, and that's why they call triplets and doublets. 
Uh, there can be longer spams, but those are on a rare occasion. So those are rare, rare occasions. Holds, however, uh, you will usually have either one hold down, so one button, for example, the circle on this, and that I press triangle, 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 triangle. You got it? But if you have like two or three notes, uh, three is a rare, rare occasion, two can be, but you see either the next note is either triangle or circle, as you can see now, or they max out. That's why you have that. And that's a thing that occasionally happens, so I will say that. Uh, most of the patterns are similar to extreme, as with normal to hard and with easy to normal. And uh, that's to learn you to, to learn the placements of the chart to keep you a bit, yeah. If I wanna, let's say, I will take Kimini and we'll show you the heart and we'll play extreme, I can like, like oh hey, placements are the same, I can look at that and be like, okay, I can read it earlier. And as I said earlier, there is no challenge time for heart. Well, there is a secret one, but we don't talk about that one. Uh, I wanna actually show you two songs from uh, heart to extreme. Why do I wanna show you? They're very, very different in the beginning and put the thing out. First of all, I'm gonna start with Kimini. So if you have Kimi e at the end of this in your stuck in your head, I apologize, but I'm gonna show it once in uh, hard and once in extreme. <laughs> I forgot this. Oh. Ah, fuck it. I forgot. I forgot that hair sometimes doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Here's Kimi e hard. Uh, don't mind my hair, but... Don't mind the hair, but... <laughs> oh. uh, usually, Kimi is extreme, is what you're gonna see is this beginning. I must have that. As I see in hold, one hold only. Horizontal multis only. Oh yeah, I gave her normal ponytails. As you can see, I've done two holds, and the next note is the square. And there are doublets. So already bit and train you on like the rhythm of the chart. Uh, something I should tell you also. Charts are usually synced around the vocals, usually. Why do I show you actually uh, Kimini? Well, if you know Kimini, if you're like an experienced EVP player already tried Extreme, you know that Kimini is more of like a triplet chart or a spammy chart. I do apologize if like Kimi is in the stock at the end. I don't know the rule set for like officer doubles or like the and officer doubles. Sliders should also be like a lot more common on the heart. And on normal and easy, if you're watching the full video through. You can see a lot more switching uh, to hard to extreme. Here's where the, here's where the extreme part comes a bit more play. More triplets, but not that much. Now I'm going to show you the extreme chart. 
Don't be worried, I know it's a bit high and be like, if you're watching this, like, from the full way through, I appreciate it. Also, uh, this is the reason I chose Key Mini, especially for this. You see? Instead of, like, a one... I should see more, the old, more holds. On playing. And also, uh, there's no official rules for, like, extreme. To be honest, as you can see, you can hold more holds. Vertical modes, uh... Vertical notice will appear. Now, you will switch a lot of more nodes. So it's easy to switch more nodes. So it's not like the same pattern over and over again. Or like the same pattern for like four nodes max. And you'll see a lot more... Bams. A lot more spamming, more triplets, and spams are more, more common. And I don't know if like Kimini has vertical nodes, but you can see that the chart style is different from like hard. Oh yeah, that's vertical notes as you see. These are the vertical notes I was talking about a lot. What do I do? Oh. So stupid, you know. But do you see a lot of more, like, uh, a lot of more triplets? And a lot more spamming and hold. Unfortunately, there's not like an official rule set that you can follow. To try to keep uh, memorized. But it's just practice, practice, and make sure to like do my lessons. That I made the series. You wanna come like learn from hard to extreme? Heck, you go out of my face. You? What a god. Oh, uh, it's been, could have gone better, but I'm gonna quickly show you, uh, to not make it too long of a video. Uh, common world domination, or better known as, uh, Arifuta Sekai Sefuku. I'm gonna quickly show you to not make long of the video. Because why do I say like the only thing uh, that Extreme follows is from arcade rule set. And on arcade rule set I'm gonna explain later on in the video. After this I'm going to like show you the difference between extreme and extra extreme. And uh, the arcade rules that I'm gonna do in the end of the video at Comfy Chart Editor. And I think I do it like until the first chorus started. Oh no, when the, yeah, when the first bridge started. As you can see again, once again here. One, load, one long note spam. Only horizontal doubles. 
And now if I go show you to extreme. <laughs> of racing for microphone. Uh, I love this uh, loading screen. And now I'm going to show you quickly extreme. And that's how it looks. And this is particularly why I chose like common world domination and Kimini. E. I could have done also the same chart from like easy to extreme, but it was like that's no fun. But it shows the progress more. As you can see, a lot more doubles already. And a lot more spent. And in comparison to an art chart. You see already more switching, more doublet. More holds. More alternating spans. And this is why I want to show you. See? More triplets. More vertical noses. As you can see, this is why I want to show you common world domination. This happens to cross hold the chart. And at the end of like the hard chart for common world domination, you will see uh, indeed more triplets. And at this, at this end of the chart, but at the same time, at the end of this time, you will see more 270s. And what are 270s? Basically, three different nodes in a triplet. Those are we call 270s. So, for example, triangle, square, x, or circle, square, x. Uh, circle, uh, square, x, circle, circle, square, x, triangle, square, x, x, triangle, square, are the most common 270s. But that's a bit from extreme to uh, art to extreme. As a reminder, Art as horizontal multis only. And as I said, I looked over like 45 charts, couldn't find anyone. Uh, it has spams, but at bare minimum, at max three, sometimes up to five, but that's a rare occasion. Uh, think about if you want to look at spams, I did a lesson about this in the series. So if you want to practice triplets, doublets, uh, spams, 270s, go look there. The patterns are indeed similar to extreme, but simplified. As you can show uh, with Kimini common role and common role domination. And there is no challenge time at the end. There is like a secret challenge time that teaches you a bit of the hard, uh, extreme chart. We don't talk about that. Also, usually if you want to uh, play extreme, usually the hard or the stupid part, as we call it, is like either at the end of the chart or somewhere in the middle of the chart. It's like a stupid little trick I want to give you. Also, uh, there's not particular a rule set that extreme and extra extreme full start with one, it's the arcade layout. I'm gonna explain that one uh, later on in the comfy studio to show you a bit more of like a bit more, you know, I don't know, a bit more of like those things who are interested in the arcade layout, four keys, eight keys, and what do I think by that, and uh, also chart grading. For example, why it's like two sided lovers created than ten. And it's like clearly a 9 or 9.5 on uh, with controller. There's just things I'm going to explain with Comfy Studio at the end of this video. This is kind of a long one, as I said, so peep with me. But that's, uh, if you want to see extra extreme, extra extreme that's coming up after after the fade in, fade out. After that, Comfy Studio, and that will be the end of the video. But if you're already clicking away, thanks for watching. And Welcome to the extreme to extra extreme section. Uh, this is going to be a rather short one. Because why? Uh, extra extreme and extreme don't really follow a rule set. The only, the only rule set that they follow is the arcade layout. And I just want to show you what is the difference between extra extreme and extreme. And how does it work in grading and all that type of stuff. And I want to show you is through Piero Space Shipper. But the only rule set they basically follow is the arcade layout rule set, which I've... Uh, I did I I showed that earlier in one of my lessons earlier, I don't know which I remember one. But in the lesson I uh, uh I was talking about triples and how to easily identify a return. I think it was in a left hand practice thing. But in that lesson I told you about the trick of the arcade layout and why uh, like the triangle square x 
triple is usually at the left of the screen and the square x circle triple is usually at the right if they are like uh, in an like triangle shape if they are vertical and you have to read it then i can predict what it's ever uh but i want to show you the difference between x and xx and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna place periodic space shipper on x and xx if i don't die <laughs> like in my opinion pr space uh, spaceship shows a great example, but it is not always like making it harder. I'm gonna explain that at the end. Sorry, I flinch a bit. I think it's not a point. <laughs> uh. We see already the more switching and alternating, which is not present at hard charts. I barely made this lesson because uh, I started working for Hito's MMFX mod and if you downgrade in a few charge from like extreme to hard and from hard to normal and at this point all people also probably from normal to easy and I've learned quite some things that I never noticed when playing like hard or extreme or normal so this is why and did you see like the That's the part I want to remember. As you saw already also in triplet or triple, which I was talking about earlier. But no vertical mode yet. Vertical mode please. I want to remem remember that's how that looked in the extreme chart and I'm not going to look in like the extra extreme chart. Oh, no wonder he reads that. Oh, I couldn't read that. It was like, what? Supposed to be a 7.5, huh? But then go player here still comes on the 7.5. But perfect is something like Brain Revolution Girl. Excellent. By this bet, I'm not done. Now I'm not gonna show you the extra extreme. I know when doing this, uh why do I pick different charts to keep it a bit interested? I could like be like uh I go from one chart to the other, to the other side, but not all charts have easy, not all charts have extra extreme even some charts don't have normal. So that's why I'm doing it also like this. That's why I'm doing this. Now I wanna look at very carefully. This is gonna be why I'm showing Piano Space Shipper.
It's not a slider ASMR. <laughs> this thing is always called slider ASMR or something. If you really care about your joy cons or uh, joy sticks, I want to play this too much. But the extra stream is usually focused around more slider heavy charts. Uh, great examples are in these Piero Space Shaper and Poppy Poppyo. But it's not always like harder. Of course, most charts become harder with like. Uh, It's like, of course, extra extreme. The R extreme basically a few will become easier. Uh, if you chart it by the arcade layout or create it by the arcade layout. As I said, uh, and gate clears for ex, uh, ex, extreme and extra extreme are 70% clear, 85% uh, 85% for a gate, and 95% for excellent and perfect as full combo, of course. At the end there you could see some vertical mode. And what do I mean with like not all charts get like uh, worse? Well, of course most get, as you see, harder. And most get are created harder. But examples aren't made. They are basically from the... Uh, I've searched around a bit. And basically uh, charts like... Uh, and the Roshin use... Uh, UK or better known as Meltdown, Romeo Cinderella are a few charts to become actually easier than their original grading. And I know there was a third one, but I forgot which it was. Which is supposed to be easier. There are multiple charts that become a bit easier, but I forgot which it was. So. Uh, you can also have like that the chart is created the same but becomes either a bit harder or uh, easier to do, so. Uh, that was extra extreme to extreme. And why do I do it so short? Because my primary focus is that extra extreme and extreme uh, don't really follow a rule set besides the arcade layout. And of course I could like show a chart be like talking, 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 but I think it's better to show off a comfy studio. That's why I'm gonna switch in a moment to Pompey Studio. But I also wanna see you, show you that some charts indeed become harder. And why is that extra extreme? And some charts become lower graded. So, but the extra extreme is primarily basically a new mode. Whereas in most people's opinion game, which is never nearly confirmed or not denied. Uh, the peop, uh, the Sega was like, we're gonna use sliders a bit more. That is why you have to keep in mind that extra extreme. They're primarily more sliders than in the extreme songs. So, uh, that's the only thing in mind. With that, if you're interested in arcade layout, 4 keys, 8 keys, let's head on for otherwise. I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Next time. Welcome to the last part of this video, and I know it's a long video, so I've been looking back at the recording, it's been an hour already. Uh, I have here a song called, of course, Vampire, and this program is basically what people use to make a uh, charge for PPD. If you don't know what PPD is, PPD is basically like Project Diva but fan made. So that you can, and people can build their own custom charts and custom songs for it. And this, this is the tool they primarily use to, uh, yeah, cut charts. Uh, I basically first want to talk about arcade layout and four keys, eight keys. Uh, four keys, eight keys primarily also has to do with like uh, arcade layout. Four keys, eight keys is a term you barely, rarely hear in the projective community unless you're familiar with some of the pros. They will throw those terms at you. And what do they mean? Well, uh, as you can see, I have a quad on the screen. And I primarily picked the quad and at least made it so that's not like vertical, uh, but that's sideways. Why did I pick 
pick the sideways option. Uh, because of the arcade layout. Primarily, Project D for Future Tone, Mega Mix, and Mega Mix Plus are designed for the arcade. And what do I mean with that? Uh, Project, I heard rumors, that, but I don't know if they were true, but Project Diva X, the last game that are, actually had a game designer for it, or project manager in the budget, and you quit halfway through, so they didn't really have someone who made a new game. So Project Diva Arcade Future Tone, as the pro, uh, name says it, is primarily a software developed for the arcade machine. And on the arcade machine, you had this layout and buttons in front of you. So for example, as you're sitting in front of your laptop now, or PC, just imagine a controller in front of you with those four buttons on the same way. And that's all you have. There is uh I can can I do this? There is uh, above these buttons our sli a slider bar or a bar that you can slide on. And with that you have an arcade controller. And as as you already probably see, an arcade controller only has one button of each, instead of two on the DS4 controller. That's why we have a term called four keys and eight keys. What do we mean by that? Four keys basically uh, tells you you have an arcade controller. An arcade controller you can basically only use one button to press, for example, a square. So if I would ever do after this, something like this, if I make like, uh, like if I would make something like this uh, afterwards, you would see this is very hard to do for an arcade controller but because basically they have to tap the X quite rapidly as you can hear. So this is why for a 4 key this would be more difficult than for an 8 key. And what do I mean by an 8 key? Well as you can see below me I have a controller. And if I would go into playtest. You see? It's quite easy more to do because I have like two controllers to do. Right, but do you see what I mean? And here, like if I would do it with only my right controller, you see how hard uh, how hard it becomes. I used to like tap quite some time. So basically this is like called 4 to 8 key. Uh, we come to the editor pre play test. This is why we have the term 4 to 8 keys. And 4 to 8 keys, well, as I said, 4 keys, if you hear someone talking, they're using 4 keys, they're either primarily using one side of their controller or using an arcade button. And as I said, an arcade button is as the plot on screen shows a uh, layout like that with slider buttons above. Uh, this is, however, if you play Mega Mix FX Plus. You see sometimes boss songs. Boss songs are primarily designed, if I remember it correctly, for 8 keys. So to play with a controller. And now, uh, with this in mind, I'm actually want to take a bit about charting rules. Or chart grading. Uh, if you probably play Two-Sided Lovers, it's a great example. You heard a lot of the people community talk like, Two-Sided Lovers is not that hard. Two-Sided Lovers is easy. Two-Sided Lovers should be a 9.5. Two-Sided Lovers this, Two-Sided Lovers that. I primarily agree if you like two controller, like if you're not good at the game, then it can be a 10, of course. But I primarily can understand that if you're a pro, that two sided lovers wouldn't be that big of a deal. What do I mean with two sided lovers? Two sided lovers is basically like spamming. That's why I primarily also kept this. It's spamming a lot. So that can be like this, and if you take, like, for example, uh, this, paste it, uh, make it up, it can be like something like this. An arcade button layout. Would be this very, very, very difficult. Same goes for sadistic. So you can understand why Sega decided to chart it a 10. Because for four keys, it's rather difficult to do. Uh, as you can see. Here, if you do like again a playtest, start from the beginning. This was a completely not synced, I know. But yeah, watch if I do it like with the home controller. Is he more fun? I think I'm doing better than one key then. <laughs> I think I'm doing better than one key then. So that's the thing that basically I wanted to show in Comfy. And I want to show a bit more things. Like I've been talking a lot about uh, 
That's why I, at each end of a section, I said to make sure to check this, because if your normal heart from extreme, uh, doesn't matter, I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, basically, I wanna show you two things. Let's add two of these. And I'm basically, uh, wanted to show you vertical notes. You see, this is what primarily if I, uh, if you watch the normal heart section and the heart and extreme, uh, this is what I mean with like vertical and horizontal note. This is what we call a vertical note. And apparently those are never present in, yeah, in present in, in, the, in, in heart. And as I said earlier, I looked over 40 to 50 charts. Uh, and no, oh, I couldn't find one. So if you find one, make sure to check me out. And those turn next, so this one is a horizontal note. These are more common in hard charts and also yeah, more common in extreme. So that's just what I wanted to explain in Comfy. Also, uh, as I said earlier, this is considered a doublet. As you can see, this is considered the doublet, two notes next to each other, and this is considered a triplet. So if you go to the Kate layout and the spam, see, doublet, triplet. Uh, what do I more explain, which I didn't do? Like doublets, triplets, oh yeah, 270s. Uh, basically, 270 is a triplet, but next to each other, like for example, this. Or, and 270 also can be like this, the other way around. Or, but that's, those are the 270 words I was talking about, these are the more common ones. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you while you talk about arcade layout, uh, most charts actually follow this layout. And what do I mean with that? Uh, what do I mean with that? This is your typical layout that the most charters in not PPD, uh, most official Sega charts follow. Why? Because the arcade players are usually like this. So this is why you see like simple things as two sided lovers are like being a 10 instead of a 9.5 or sadistic also maybe could, uh, sadistic should be up there. But you get the point. This is what Sega follows. So this is why you usually see an, uh, this is why you usually see as you can see, this is why you usually see doubles like this on the screen if they're horizontal. This is for like for uh for arcade players, easier to identify. They'd be like, oh, I have to press on the right side of the screen or on the left side of the screen. If you go a little bit further and back to here, there's one more thing that I want to show you with a little trick. Uh, that, those are the common triplets. Common triplets can either appear in this way or in the other way. Just if I take them again, sample. I take them again and place them here. Okay, you can see, uh, let's, let's move this to the middle. You can see basically that they're like the most common, uh, common triplet. There also are uh, triples that are like, these triplets do exist. Wait, hang on, let me, we make it better. Like, as you can see, uh, this looks like hell. It is. These are like the common triplets, and these are the uncommon triplets. And what do we mean with uncommon? You will see these two more often in charts than this two. That's what I want to show you also. Also, uh, how do I identify which triplet I have to press? And good question, good question. You're full of good questions today. And I'm not going to brag on anymore because this video is already an hour and 20 minutes long. But. This happens with charting rules, huh? Uh, that's why I wanted to show you both in charts in game and here. Because here's, I think, I can blibber blabber all I want, but be like looking like Elise. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> and with this, I wanted to really show you uh, how it would look. But mostly, these two uncommon triplets are, you will mostly only see them vertical, not like in a triangle. And what do I mean with a triangle? If I take this, like triangle is usually for a K player. So they usually have this, like their layout. And a triangle, if I take this and I put it in this and I do it like this. This is how usually uh, our trip, uh, the un uh, common triplets are identified. But they also can be like, oh, uh, let me do this correctly. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I made them like. Oh, you get the point. They, uh, they either come like a triangle. Oh, I made the first one. Hang on. They come usually in a triangle, and then if they are in a triangle, usually identified is this one. And this is the other one. They either are usually like this, or like this. So they can be like, I'm gonna show you. Most common way for those triplets to appear in triangle are usually at the left side of the screen, either like that or like this. Why do I say this? Uh, how do you, no, wait, 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 I do this wrong. Uh, they usually either appear like this or like this. And why do I say this? Uh, well, because this is where the arcade layout once again comes into place. They take up, they chose it like this so that an arcade player can easily identify which triplet you have to press. You see, you look at the left side of the screen, okay, left side triple equals triangle square x. And that is why if I, for example, take here a square x circle and do it like this, it's usually on the right side of the screen. This position is a bit better. It's usually either like this. It would look like hell if I want to play it. Or if you take it and paste it. Oh, no, not you. Want you control? Let me take it like this. Either usually like this. Also in that like tight star shape. I know this is not the best place positioning. Do you see how this looks? <laughs> okay, wait, well, hold on, can I move? Like, they're usually in the... Okay, hang on, I'm gonna move this over here. Do over here. This is why they usually... Uh... Okay, wait, I'm gonna show it a bit more. Like this is usually why in a gate layer there, like on the left, if there's a triangle X square, you can keep that in mind uh, for official charts, official, official charts, but follow these rules. Uh, PPD players usually tend to follow these rules, but sometimes make some times crazy stuff. You'd be like, like Boku Boku I showed early in one of my lessons. And if there's like on the right, this should be around here to identify, okay, square X circle. And that's the thing with uncommon triplets of our arcade layout once again, when for like the four button layout comes again. So to recap a bit, we have uh, we have an arcade layout. An arcade layout is called four buttons. Four buttons are usually a uh, layout like this. And the original Future Tone, which is now popular, is as the name says, arcade Future Tone designed for an arcade machine. And your four layer button layout, which I've showed here with like the slider bars above, is usually why uh, most charts are created and started to a four button layout or simple follow the arcade rule set. Which are rule sets? Well, if you're like an arcade layout button, this, 
this part could be stuff. But for an 8 key player, not. And what is an 8 button player or an 8 key? Uh, well, as you can see below me, I have a controller. As a controller, I have access to two sides of like triangle, square, circle, X. And that's why we call an 8 player. Let's type in. Early on in the video, when we toured through easy, normal, hard, extreme, extra extreme, I had talked about vertical uh, vertical multis and horizontal multis, especially if you like watch uh, watch the normal to hard part. Those uh, should have heard the term horizontal multis a lot. What is an horizontal multi? What's a vertical multi? A multi is two nodes connected to each other. Usually, as you can see here, the horizontal uh, is the one from left to right. They usually, as I said earlier, uh, follow the arcade layout. I'll, I will show you later on again. They usually follow the arcade, uh, arcade layout in buttons. We can talk about that later on again. Uh, horizontal nodes are usually the ones you see in hard and normal challenge time. We also had a lot about challenge time in easy, normal and hard. And, but get the touring to Project Diva. Uh, furthermore, I talked about doublets, which are usually two nodes close to each other, and triplets. Those triplets can also occur in two 70s, either like this pattern, this pattern, or these two patterns. Uh, from there, we have again, once again, I can't lay out on screen to remind you, but double, horizontal doubles usually follow this layout. As you can see, comfy, uh, comfy also. Hang on, I'm gonna do something too quick. As you can see, all the doubles follow using in Comfy if they're horizontal the la arcade bait layout. So square, uh, square triangle should always be like this. Square X should always be like this. X circles should always be like this. And square circles should always be so far each other. Why do I show this? Uh, to keep you in gap. Like if you see, as you can see, if you see like, uh, let's move all this. Let's move a couple seconds. I don't make hands. Oh. Hang on, Lord. Here, let's move the double section a bit so that you can show. I'm gonna do a bit different so that you see a uh, difference. Here, now you can see the difference more better. Triangle square usually have like these gaps with X circle, and they're usually helpful to identify uh, if I have to press two buttons close to each other or two buttons farther off each other. As you can see here, here, square X also have the gap, but this helps you a lot if you keep in mind this with arcade layout, that square and circle are usually far apart. And also if I would like, uh, as you can see here, if I would take like a square circle, they usually was farther apart than when I put square X. That's the tricks you can use for like, Note in between. So if I would remove the square and the X, you can like, oh, it's a square circle. But if I put like, uh, if I remove this, an X circle is usually close to each other. So this is why I showed these tricks. And little tips you can take off. You can be like, pause the video and be like, at least what are you talking about? Well, note gap. Note gap. Like, note gap. Like, how long are the gap? How far the notes are from each other? As you can see here, square circle, uh, square X. If they're like vertical, you can always like uh, keep this to comparison. See how closer they are, how far are the nerds. One other trick I wanted to show you. Last thing I want to show you is the uncommon triplets and the common triplets. And I'm gonna do it. Um, let me uh, like to remind you, I'm uh, 
I should always prepare this, but I didn't. Ah, then moving them. Moving them. Like we have common triplets. As you can see, this is the uncommon triplet, the square x. These two are com usually the common you will see more often. Also, sometimes they appear on hard charts. Square x, uh, square triangle x, square x circle are the common triplets. We also have uncommons. They usually only appear vertical and less common, or barely even. And those are the square x circle, the square triangle square circle, triangle x circle. Also, why do I mention this? Arcade layer also follows the rule with triplets, which I discovered, I think, earlier in a video of mine, which is basically, uh, yeah, the triangle trick. Uh, if, if you want to learn how to read them sideways, as you can see, triangle square X, this only occur for the common, uh, common triplets. Triangle square X uh, usually appears on the left side of the screen. With square circle, Square X circle being appearing on the right side of the screen. And that's all I have to tell you. So thanks for listening, like almost one and a half hour blibbering uh, for me through Mega Mix FX Plus to charting, chart grades, some little tips and tricks I wanted to give you with Comfy Chatter, uh, Comfy Studio. I know it's a lot, so just make sure to rewatch it, make sure to pause, make sure to look at the section you want, make sure to like take notes. Uh, why do I, I also said I made this because I've like discovered a lot about charting and maybe some tips and tricks you can use to remember. And I uh, especially took the time to make it longer with a lot of examples because I can jibber jabber for long, but I think examples show it better than jibber jabber. So with that, I'm going to say, if you like what you see, leave a comment down below, subscribe. Uh, this should be releasing somewhere in August. So if you want to play Mega Mix FX, make sure you have the own, uh, own Mega Mix Plus bundle. Uh, I will leave a link in the top of the description to the Mega Mix FX Plus YouTube channel if you are interested in that. Because I'm now a team member of that, so I'm gonna promote it. Uh, if you want to see any other lessons I did from Road Project Defense to Extreme, they're most primarily focused on Hard to Extreme, but you always can learn from it something. Uh, those will be on the left side of my outro screen. On the middle will be my channel button, and yeah, I do often make more Diva content. Uh, besides perfect Diva roadmaps and all that type of stuff. So if you're interested in that, go to my channel, put the search around, you'll find it. On my right will be a video recommended for my channel to you, based on what you watch a lot. I can't predict it, however, if you uh, if you don't like it, I highly suggest going to my channel, put and either go for the Let's Play playlist. It should be there somewhere, somewhere you find it. There's a playlist full of content I've done over the past few years, there should be in there something for you. Or just look around a bit for the Miku content if you're into that, like Project Diva. It should be enough on the channel. And with that, I'm going to say thanks for listening here once again for like one and a half hour, but I'm going to peace out. I'm going to run this. I will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.